everybody. Welcome to my program, Music and Literature. My name is Kathleen Collins and I'm a member of the violin section of the Cleveland Orchestra. Um, today we're going to be talking about the relationship between written literature and music. Now, as you've probably learned in school, there are two main categories of written literature. Literature means really anything that humans write. So having said that there are two main categories, you'll remember that those categories are fiction and nonfiction. So fiction refers to anything that's written that is made up, that's imaginative, that um, doesn't have anything to do with truth. It might be somewhat loosely based on truth from time to time, but there's a lot of non-factual details in it. Nonfiction, on the other hand, is all sorts of literature that is written based on facts, completely true facts, research type um, uh, material. Uh, one thing that would be really great for you to do um, after this session is over is to try to figure out how many different types of writings that you can think about and see if you can put them into the categories. Are they fiction, meaning not true, or are they nonfiction, meaning the, the factual type of writing? Um, you can make up your lists, show them to your parents or teachers and see if they would agree with you or see if they could add to your lists a little bit too. That could be a really interesting idea. What we're going to work on today and in our next few sessions are stories, the relationship between stories and music. Now, what do you think? Do you think stories are, would you put those in the category of fiction or would you put them in the category of nonfiction? That's interesting, right? There are some stories that are completely true stories and you could actually put them in the category of nonfiction. Um, try to figure out what that kind of story might be called. Um, but most of the stories that we read, the novels, the storybooks, things like that that we read are in the big category of fiction meaning it's in your imagination, it's made up, it's the author's fantasy kind of, kind of idea. Um, so we're going to explore the relationship of a piece of music, which I'm going to play for you right now, that is based on the structure of a story. So I'm going to go ahead and play this piece for you. I want you right now to just Put on your thinking caps, open up your ears wide open, really pay attention to this musical story. You can make up your own story if you want in your mind as I'm playing, but especially what I want you to think about are the three main sections of a story. See if you can come up with what those names are um, and begin to think about the elements that are important in each of those three main sections. So I'll go ahead and play this musical story now and use your imagination and enjoy the beautiful music.
Alice in it? Did you make up a really good story? This is a very dramatic, lively piece of music, and it is actually exactly following the structure of a written story, as we're gonna see over in the next few sessions. So what did you end up coming up with when you were thinking about the three main sections of a story? Let's call those sections by name. So it's actually kind of basic logical names that we have for the different sections. There's the beginning, the middle, and the end. So beginning, middle, and end. Those are our three main sections of a written story. And it's amazingly true that even the ancient Greeks 3,000 years ago were writing stories that were based on that same form, the beginning, middle, and end. Within those different sections, there are key elements, key things that have to happen in order for the story to progress, for the action to progress, for us to understand what's going on. And that structure has really held pretty solidly true all the way from three 3,000 and more years ago when the ancient Greeks were writing until um, authors who are writing even today. Um, it doesn't matter also what country you come from. Chinese authors were writing like that, African authors, South American, and um, authors write in the United States. Um, it's a fairly universal thing that story structure is pretty, pretty standard. Um, and the musical piece uh, that I played for you today goes along that same structure. We are gonna find out more details about all this, about the different sections in our next um, sessions together. And I'm really excited to, to talk with you about that coming up. Um, see you really soon. Bye.